just our boats back home? Yeah. Alright. Here's some of our uh, other vets. Yeah, go ahead and say hi. Hello, what's you over here? Having a good time so far? Pretty day. Oh, it's a beautiful fall day here. Better. Couldn't be better. We're glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna go down to um, to the floor, or I guess you call it to the to the stars, uh, commemorating the the dead of the war, the fallen. Here's the uh, as you guys were mentioning, and I mentioned before the. The columns representing the states. One of our guests today is a CB uh, in the South Pacific, and um, a couple of people now showing you this is really the centerpiece of the memorial. It's called the Freedom Wall. It's a nine foot high wall inscribed here we are the place of freedom. There are 4,048 gold stars, each one of them represents 100 American military deaths. This means more than 400,000 soldiers, sailors, marines, marines, and air This is Arlen Rhodes, and he was uh, he was in the in the Pacific Theater, and uh, ended up spending uh, some time well, kind of in the Philippines, and then and kind of right on the verge of, of, of going into a few different battles. So we're really fortunate to come down and meet such a great guy and uh, get to hear some of his stories. You want to say hi, Arlen? Yeah, I don't. Uh, you know, I don't think most people realize us young guys going into the Second World War, how much we appreciated given the opportunity to serve our country. We were brought up to love of country ever since childbirth. And I'm on the verge of the, the slippery slope going down, and I still love the country. It's the best country we could possibly have. And thanks to most of the people, practically all the people that backed us up on this, it was an honor to serve the country. Thank you very much. 1943, um, Australia was a key role, key port for um, for fixing ships, for fixing the uh, submarines, um, and they actually set up the Seventh Fleet for submarines here, and, and it was that initial thing. So there was a whole um, f whole flotilla of, of submarines here as well, plus minesweepers. They um, had a whole range. So um, just getting started with a quick one, um, I'm just going to show a quick video of, of where I am now and what it looks like now, and some that may be involved may actually know 
this whole region. This is just um, around the, the Brisbane City River that you can see now. So part of this is just um, some of the old port area and, and some of the old stores, which during the war was um, where they actually would dock ships and stuff as well. Is, um, yeah. That is the USS Alabama. Jared, can you hear me and can you tell people what, what um, they're seeing? Yeah, sure can. We're outside of the, the battleship currently. Uh, we were afraid of rain, similar to last time, and thankfully the, the sky cleared up. It's a fantastic day out. Uh, the sun is at a pretty rough position for the whole ship. Hopefully you can see the silhouette in some of the, the majesty of this view. It's just a being in front of it. And the propellers on this, we talked about last time, you know, they're not too many here, I'm sure you saw it, but the propellers are good for some empty valves. The prop on the back of the ship, they're not too many, sorry. I'm completely off on the back of the back. Again, just wanted to say thanks to all the veterans, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this little bit, uh, and enjoy the rest of the day. The tomb was actually placed at the head of the grave of the World War I unknown. West of this grave are the crypts of the unknowns from World War II to the south and Korea to the north. Between the two lies a crypt that once contained an unknown from Vietnam in the middle. His remains were positively identified in 1998 through DNA testing as First Lieutenant Michael Blassey, United States Air Force, and they were removed and he's now interred in his home, which was St. Louis. The three graves are marked with white marble slabs that are flush with the plaza. The north and south panel of the um, memorial block, the tomb itself, um, are decorated with three wreaths on each side that represent the six major battles engaged in by American forces in World War I. The east panel that faces Washington, D.C. contains the three Greek figures representing peace, victory, and valor. And the western panel is inscribed with the words centered on the panel, here rests in honored glory an American, an American soldier, soldier known but to God. God. The tomb, the tomb of the unknown is guarded 24, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year in any weather by the tomb guard sentinels. The sentinels, all volunteers, are considered to be the best of the, st the elite 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment known as the Old Guard, and they are headquartered at Fort Myer, Virginia. Um, and for those of you who are watching the coverage last week of uh, Hurricane Sandy, the guards are given the option to take cover during storms. They have quarters underneath the pavilion that um, is actually at Jimmy's back. Um, the other, only other cover they have is that little guard shack you see right um, in front of the Sentinel. And um, they refuse to take cover during hurricanes. They believe that, um, that their service is so necessary and so honorable that they will not um, forsake their posts even in the worst of weather. Stephen Monaco um, as well. Stephen is uh, helping in the efforts to bring more veterans um, their, their, their memorials virtually um, as well. Stephen, any parting words before we see the changing of the guard here? No, just to repeat what I said before, I so appreciate the service of all of you vets and all of our active military men and women for the freedom that you've provided and it means, it means so much. Thank you. God bless you all. I think we should all remember just, just how young everybody was when they were doing this as young as say 15 years old the guys that lied about their age and the uh, and if you were 26 or uh, 30 you were considered uh, likely an old man in the Second World War so uh, let's just remember these were just kids and uh, right out of high school so to be brave that brave that young is quite something quite something indeed um
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Kamani of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Thank you.